Okay, this is the beginning of knowing how to solve systems of inequalities. Because inequality solutions are often a series of numbers. I'm sorry, I need everyone's full attention. I want you to think back to when we were doing inequalities before. And you had to fill in the circle or leave it open. Do you guys remember all that? Yeah. yeah. Let's okay. see if I can find it. Yeah. Equal yeah. 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 Okay. Um, things like this. And what was true about this is that everything shaded on the line between those numbers were possible solutions. Inequalities have more than one right answer. It's a whole bunch. And so to show that with a system of inequalities, we don't end up with one x, y point. We end up with a whole bunch of them. I think in front of you, Faith. Okay. So we're going to start with learning how to graph inequalities on a coordinate plane. The first thing we want to do is get this into what form? Slope-intercept slope intercept form. And I saw a couple of you write slope-intercept form on your paper when you were testing. What is slope-intercept form? Y equals mx plus b. Y equals mx plus b. Except when we do it with an inequality, we just have an inequality symbol instead of an, uh, an equal sign there. We still want to get the y by itself. We want to have the slope term here, and we want to have the y-intercept here. That means when we're starting this one, we're going to subtract the 2x from both sides. That leaves us with negative 3y is less than negative 2x plus 12. Notice what I'm doing with that is I'm sliding that 2x term into the right place to be where the MX would be. Thumbs up if you're following what I just did. What's my next step? Divide by two, uh, negative three. What's the rule when you're multiplying or dividing by negatives? You flip the we have to flip the inequality. So I'm gonna divide all of these terms by negative three. When I do that, it's gonna flip the symbol from less than to greater than. Is it divided by negative? because I'm dividing by a negative. Yeah. We're going to cross off the negative threes because they cancel out, leaving us with y. What happens with this negative two over negative three? It's two over three x. And what's positive 12 divided by negative three? Okay, so that negative four is important because it's our starting point on the graph. Yes. We're going to go down to the next place and we're going to fill in from the equation what is our slope? Uh, two over two three. Three. Our slope is 2 over 3. Fractions. You'll remember this in a second. Rise over run. And then what's my y intercept from the equation? And remember, the y intercept goes on the y axis. So, okay. we can put that point there. Don't graph a line yet because there's something tricky about these lines. We're going to go down to negative 4 and put a point. That means that our y-intercept isn't just negative 4. Its coordinate is 0, comma negative 4. Oops, sorry. Thank you. Okay. Now, we're going to fill in down below first this part because do you remember how we had the open closed circles when we were doing them on a straight number line? Yeah. In this case, we have either a solid line, which is like a closed circle, or we have a dotted line, which is like an open circle. So a solid line is going to be for greater than or equal to, and it's going to be for less than or equal to. Broken is without the equal to. And the, so the solids, remember like I said, that's like the solid dots, Yes. right? It takes a little bit more pencil because you have to have a whole solid line, more graph solid line. circles. Broken lines are for greater than or less than. Okay. So knowing that, we can start our graph. We've got our y-intercept. We know our slope is 2 over 3, so we're going to use rise over run and find two other points. 
Maybe one other point. One, two up, and then how far over? Is it positive or negative slope? Okay. Am I going to get a positive line if I go this direction? Yes. Always be thinking that. And then we're going to make a dashed line. So you just make it broken like this. Because in our inequality, oh yeah, it was this symbol. So our line is going to be broken because it's not a greater than or less than, it's or equal to, it's just a greater than. The other thing that happens, because remember, we shaded on the number line the direction that the answers would all be in. We're going to shade this graph too. We shade above the line if we have a greater than symbol. Can we see? Oops, I apologize. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, you can see. We shade above the line if we have a greater than or if we have a greater than or equal to. Oh, if it's, a, it's greater than, it's above. Yep. If it's greater than, we shade above. If it's less than, we shade below. 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 So less than or less than or equal to. Now, you guys just have a pencil. I'm going to use a highlighter. <clears throat> it does not have to be totally shaded in. You just kind of want to draw that this is the direction. Oh, I get it. That's what I mean by shading. Now, why am I doing that? Because my equation is y is greater than 2 thirds x minus 4. This is where the line is. Any ordered pair up here, any ordered pair up here could go into your x, y here and make this inequality true. So we're going to check it. And it is the last thing we're doing today, so really focus. I'm going to check it with, how about this negative one? It's negative 3, comma negative 2. We'll come back. We're checking it. We're saying that any to any point in this shaded area would make this inequality true. Oh. I have a bunch that I I mean all of these are points, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm saying whatever its x y is could go into this inequality and make it true. So what's the the y here? Negative two. Negative, Negative two is greater than two-thirds over or times negative three where did i get the negative three from over it's the x. x in my x y pair i just randomly picked could have picked any of these minus four negative, negative two is greater than four. what's two times negative three divided by ne three negative two negative two minus four mm. is negative two greater than negative six. Yes. Yes. So that checks. Ooh. And I guarantee you any of the points that are up here would work. Would work. But nothing on this line would work. Or below. Because it's greater than and not greater than or equal to. If you have a solid line, the points on the line could also be an XY pair for it. Okay? Don't lose this paper. We're gluing it and continuing tomorrow. Don't lose this paper. I was hoping we'd get to it, but we will start with this tomorrow. Yeah, this is so hard.